I think I did it. Did I do it? Am I here? <laughs> okay. Well, um, hot melt sprint time, people. All right. I just want to make sure that you guys, there's Fawn. Hi, honey. <laughs> I just want to make sure that you're feeling good about this. You know, make sure that there's, if there's any questions at all, now is the time to just start pounding me on them. Okay. I know, so I, I, I said yesterday, and I just wanted to clarify that because I had somebody who asked me that question. I'm sideways? How the heck does that work? Um, well, is that better? I'm sideways. How the heck does that work? Rotate your phone. You can't rotate your phone while recording. Am I better now? Am I not sideways? Okay. Well, I'm just going to hold it then. What the heck? I'm just... There it is. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Don't even know what to tell you with all that. No soy milk, Jan. No. Soy is inflammatory. And soy is the worst. And it's estrogenetic and all of that. So no, 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 no on the soy. You need to use almond milk. Or you can use coconut milk, you can use macadamia nut milk, you can, I mean, there's a ton of stuff out there. You, but no, you can use hemp milk, but you want to hear something weird. I tried this, originally I did it with hemp milk, it gave me a rash. So you have to be really, really careful. So <laughs> I don't even know why that happened. You could even use water if you want, but that's just going to be kind of boring. Okay, so... Your vinaigrette, super easy, make that and have that. Can I have sirloin and steamed veggies? We're going to, yes, absolutely, you can have sirloin and steamed veggies. Um, you, you know, that's fine. Um, no, don't add an apple to the smoothie. There's too many carbs, okay? So I, I just wanna understand, I'm gonna give you the overall premise of the hot melt sprint. First of all, the hot melt is referring to ketosis. This will put you into ketosis because it's super, low in carbs. Did you notice that we're using green onions instead of regular onions in the soup? And do you know why we're doing that? Um, we are doing that simply because it's lower in carbs, just a little bit lower than carbs. When we, add, when we get the lower in carbs stuff, then we are going to be able to get into ketosis that much easier. So it's just like we're yanking the plug, we're adding the fat, um, what's that hot milk? What's that? Rita, what's that group that you got there? I don't know what that is. Um, anyway, but that's, that's exactly what we're doing. Okay. Um, John Tut Campanola. Who's John Tut Campanola? John, are you a John or are you a, a lady? <laughs> Tell me who you are. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. I, so I have gone through and every single ingredient has been chosen in this because it's super low carb. And we're taking the carbs out. We're doing this for seven days. We're taking the carbs out. When we, you know, at the end of this, if this is something that your body just super clicks with, you're going to want to keep going. But I'm going to change it up for you. you can, I'm going to let you, um, you know, I have a hot milk diet that you can um, get on top of that. Oh, that's my group. You're a man. How did you get in here, John? Okay. Um, okay. So the the uh, so the hot melt salad is everything in there is low is green and low carb and has has enough um, fiber in there has enough fat to make it really work well for you. All right, so here's what you have to understand. Okay, Catherine, that's your husband, right? Okay, if it's your husband, I'm okay with that. I just want to make sure we don't have some. Um, okay, there you go. Yeah, that's your husband. I'm all right. It's okay. Um, but I, you know what I said is like, I want this a safe place for everybody. That's, that's the big deal. Um, but you, you have to have all, we, we have nothing in here for fiber. The fiber that we have in here are the broccoli sprouts. It's the cucumber. It's the radishes. It's the greens. Um, and the avocado is really high in fiber and it has a lot of um, fat in it. Now, I want you to understand something that 
when you have this salad, this, I mean, this salad is tremendous. Did you notice it? Three cups of lettuce. Did you notice that? That's a lot. Two tablespoons of broccoli sprouts. Somebody was asking me about that. Now those broccoli sprouts are growing and, and they're crazy big, right? Um, I want you to understand something. Your broccoli sprouts, mine are going into the microgreens department. They've gone from sprout into, into almost a green. It's crazy. So, but that doesn't mean that I need to throw them out and start over. I just need to be super careful with it, okay? And what you'll do is you'll pull out like what is about the equivalent eyeballing it of a tablespoon. Pull that out pull it out and then just chop it in half, maybe chop it in thirds or whatever and put it on your salad. It, you know, doesn't have to be a big deal. One of the things that I'll do if I'm really hungry is I will take a, a about a tablespoon of broccoli sprouts and I'll just eat them and chew them up while I'm sitting there, um, having, making my dinner, getting my dinner ready. So, you know, there's a lot that you can do. Um, let's see here. Now the clove of garlic, you know, that has a little bit of, um, hi Laura, that has a little bit of, of carbs to it, but it adds so much flavor and it's so important. You know, we cannot have stuff that is, um, yeah, yes, Kimmy, absolutely eyeball it. If you need, I mean, if, if just get used to what a tablespoon looks like. Get a tablespoon and put a tablespoon of something in your hand so you know what a tablespoon looks like. Start understanding, you know, what, it, you know, a deck of cards, for example, is about three ounces of protein. That's what three ounces of protein looks like. That's what your protein needs will look like if you're doing two meals. We discussed that already, okay? Two meals because you're three to six ounces. Um, that's fine, Louise, no problem. And so you just need to start being able to eyeball it because that's makes, that's sustainable, okay? If you need to weigh and measure the first time around, great, that's fine, I understand. Because you need to understand, I mean, we can we could really fool ourselves with thinking how much we're actually getting. You know, a cup of soup, you know, weigh and measure it out. But once you've done it one time, just roll with it now. You you now you know what to do. Okay. All right. So um, the soup is going to be delicious, and it's going to be your saving grace. Here's a couple of things. A couple of things I've had people ask me. Um, can I add some spice to it? Yes, you can. If you want to add a little sriracha, if you want to add a little Tabasco or whatever, go ahead, knock yourself out. Even if you want to put a little sprinkle of cayenne, you're welcome to do that. Stay away from the cheese, stay away from, you know, all the stuff that's crazy town. You know better. Um, we are dairy free with the exception of some butter, you know, and that butter is simply there for the fat and the butter has very low in casein. So you'll be, you'll be fine. Okay. You'll be fine on that. Um, the apple cider vinegar for, for digestion's sake, that's going to be a saving grace for a lot of you, especially if this is a new situation for you, um, that'll really help. What brands are grass fed butter? I stayed by the butter aisle forever finding and had issues finding any. Do your very best to find some. Um, but Kerrygold is the best. And especially if you have a Trader Joe's, Kerrygold has the cheapest, uh, the cheapest out there. Kimmy cilantro is a fabulous idea. I actually should have put that in there as a, like you can garnish with cilantro. Cilantro, fresh cilantro and fresh parsley are both fabulous detoxifiers. They also help with fluid retention and they also, um, they take out heavy metals. Who knew, right? So I just want you to know about that. The thing is, I want you to get to the place of finding true hunger again. I want you to go get to the place of finding true hunger again because so many, okay, Carrie Gold's at Walmart. Who knew? Fabulous. Get it there. So many of us have gone through the whole thing. We're afraid of being hungry. Hungry is not going to, it's not going to mow us over. Hungry is not going to kill us. I want you to be in the place so that you are, you feel like you can do this that you're not going to go hungry. And when you do, when you start getting hungry, that you're ready to eat, you've got soup in the refrigerator, you've got a salad made, you've got, you've got your, your protein and it's all right there. Okay. That's going to make it, that's going to make such a difference. It's going to make, make you feel like, um, you're empowered 
and that you that you don't have any crazy um, you know fallback thing that you have to go driving through any of those horrible places that basically have will take your health from you okay so let's do that your your fasting requirements I've gotten a few questions about fasting it's intermittent fasting we will all go at least 12 hours from 12 from like say 7 at night until 7 a.m. the next morning at least what I want you to if that's something that you already do I want you to start pushing the envelope a little bit see if you can push it out till like 8 a.m. just to help your body what this does is it helps with the reset for your metabolism okay so that will help Kimmy's asking any preference for dried spices versus fresh herbs no I mean you know honestly I'm gonna let you figure that one out for yourself um, if you can get some fresh herbs by all means get them and use them I, I have a recipe in there you know a semi quasi recipe for making the herbed butter that the compound butter that I suggest that you use for on top of like your fish or your meat or whatever that is just it's just adds that that edge of deliciousness and I use fresh herbs with it because it's just really potent and um, you know we can you can get fresh herbs just about anywhere anymore so yeah it, it adds all kinds of things and herbs I mean if you start looking at what rosemary does and it's anti-inflammatory this that and the other thing it's fantastic and just know that you know when you're using herbs you like for example with rosemary you strip it off the stick and you get rid of the stick and you know you do a little uh, uh, knife action on it and it makes it taste it makes it wonderful okay so the 12 hour fast is is necessary because we need to give our bodies a, um, a time to just really digest um, if you can push it to even longer um, do it this whole week I have not I've just done a 12 hour fast that's it um, last week I was doing 16 hour fasts so I was I've just been listening to my body I know that next week I'm gonna go even longer even longer than that and I'll break my fast again at one o'clock with you like I had been with my you know target trifecta smoothie that's how I'm going to do it I'm also working on a target trifecta smoothie that is a um, an express kind with a shaker bottle Marla got me a shaker bottle and said you know let's let's talk about using a shaker bottle too because that is important because you can't always use a blender or whatever but I will work on that express tri target trifecta type of a smoothie if you need it but again I would recommend that you have the just use veggies so you can get some green in there you've got your fiber and all this other stuff and it will shake up and it will dissolve but I just want to make sure that you have that okay so fasting is super important and just make sure that you're if you're doing the 12 hour I'm proud of you that's it you just have to do the 12 hour your liquid okay when you're drinking all that water again important all that water is going to keep moving things through it's going to help your digestion just make sure that you're not drinking your water guzzling water anyway with your dinner or with your meals you want to have that you want to make sure that your digestive enzymes are working well and that they they're not being impeded by you washing them all down okay that's all um, I'm just trying to see oh I had some questions too yes do your stairs okay I've done I've done 10 today this used to represent four it now represents five I've added another flight in there simply because I've conditioned my body so that it can handle that do what you can do your little block if you're going to use little blocks might suggest uh, might might not work with um, with you at all you know that that might not work for you you might be using hashtags or, or you know just going do 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 and just using the little hash marks it that's fine but have one represent two or three or, or if you just want it to represent one but keep track of that because keeping track when we when we what we measure improves and what we don't know about doesn't and we can't go back and we can't you know recalculate we can't figure out where it is so anyway that that's how that works and Val says I've been doing IF for years that's intermittent fasting and didn't even know it didn't even know what 
Okay. What is if we don't have, oh, the fiber mender suggest a substitute. Oh boy. For the fiber mender instead, I, I'm just trying to think of what you can get easily. Um, you could probably go to a GNC and get konjac root. It's not going to be the same. It's not going to be nearly as good. But the thing about konjac root is it expands, which is really good. But see if they have a ground loose one, not pills, and you can probably get that at GNC. It's konjac root, um, also known as glucomannan. Okay, you can see if you can find that. Um, eggs, avocado, and spinach. There you go. There's your break fast. Look at Lucy. Go. And she does five. Who said I'm sore? Teresa, I have a friend invite me to step. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's going to, oh, that she was doing intermittent fasting. Good. All right. And then as far as the hit thing goes, you can add that to your, um, I, I'm looking, I'm doing that right now. I'm adding it to my stairs. So what I'm doing is I'm going down the flight of stairs on the way down. Once I get down there, I'm going hard for, look at me. I just keep doing this. I'm going hard as fast as I can. And I'm just trying to get all of, you know, some sprints in. If you want more about that, um, on how to do all of the, the hit training and the, the sprints or the little, what did, what did I call them in there? Did I call them sprints? I don't even remember what I called them. But whatever you, whatever it is, you need to get all of that in there. You know, do the best that you can. Uh, Kimmy says, I'm trying to see what you say, Kimmy. What's the max amount of water? You don't want to go over that. You don't want to, okay, here, here's a couple of things. Now, like, let's say, if you happen to be extraordinarily, you have like a, a lot of weight to lose and you weigh like 300 pounds. Let's just go with that. 300 pounds, half your weight in ounces is 150 ounces. That's a lot. Um, that's a lot of water. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take that down a little bit just so you can handle it because that's really hard on your body. Also, make sure that you're drinking your water. Um, like when you go to do your, this is what, this is what you can do. This is how you can stack a habit. This is one of my favorite things. I have got my, um, I've got my clock set for the alarms. They're going off 45 minutes. So I go and I do the flight. And when I come back, guess what? It's water time. So if I'm drinking, you know, a good glass of water every time, I'm going to get through my water easily, simply. And it's going to happen like right before five o'clock, which is great. So I'm not going to be up all night peeing. So stack your habits, stack your flights, add some hit training at the end of it. And then when you get back, drink a glass of water. If you are at work and you can't do all of that, you can't do your hit training, do your hit training in the morning. I, I really like that because it sets your metabolism. Just get it done. It doesn't take a long time. You know that, but you've read the, the stuff. Just get the hit training. But if you're at work, you, you, you know, the, the, you don't have a ball and chain around you, your foot at the desk and you have the right to get up every 45 minutes, still set your alarm, get up 45 minutes, go do some flights. I bet you anything you can find some stairs at your work or go outside, walk around the building, um, and then come in, drink a glass of water and, and away you go. And 45 minutes later, your alarm's going to go off and guess what? You're going to probably have to go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom, walk around the building, do the flights and drink a glass of water after all, again, start over. Um, I would say don't do any more than 12 ounces at a time unless you're outside in the hot blistering sun and super thirsty. I would go with eight ounces, you know, and it, you, look how quickly you can get through that. Um, wake up first thing in the morning and drink, you know, eight ounces of water as your coffee's being made. Start with the four minute workout. So that's one of the things that I do. This is a stack that I do in the morning. I get up, I grind my coffee. That's I, that's what I do. I get my coffee, get my coffee going, and then I race my coffee um, to get my dishwasher unloaded. I unload the dishwasher, and as I'm unloading the dishwasher, I have my favorite cup that I have my tea in. I pull the tea out, the teacup out, and I put the teacup right on the countertop, and I have a big 
drawer that I open. That's where I keep my mugs. It's where I keep my fil coffee filters. Um, and it's where I keep my tea. And I grab the tea bags that go in there and I have that set up so it's ready to go. And at 2.30, I go downstairs. And at 2.30, I do my flights. I set, get my teapot ready and all of that. That's what I do. But in the morning, once I'm done with getting everything set up and getting everything put away, then I will do a quick four minute exercise. And at that point, I've already, you know, I've, already, I've set the day up for success. I've set the day up for success. And then I set the alarms on my clock. Well, no, I don't have to set those anymore. Marla showed me how I don't have to set them anymore. They just automatically are set and they just go off every day. So it works. But that's habit stacking. And when you can put one thing, you know, it's, it's like it is a routine, but it's also a habit stack that every single time it just triggers in my head that this is what I want to do. But, you know, I go out, when I go out to set my coffee, I'm already dressed. I've already got my, because I've laid my clothes out the night before. Listen, I'm a trained fly baby. 19 years of doing this, I know what to do. <laughs> I'm trained and, and, and I can't do it any other way. And so, you know, get your water out. Put your water on the counter. Drink your water. Undo your dishwasher. Get your coffee going. Then do your four-minute exercise. And by the time, you know, your, your coffee will be ready and your reward is a nice hot cup of coffee. Okay. That'll help set your day up for success. In the meantime, you're going to have all of this stuff done and you're going to be fantastic. It's going to be great. All right. I've heard 100 ounces max a day, but I don't know if that's real. I don't know if that's real either because I think it, you know, it depends on your body weight. You know, and I wouldn't do more than 12 ounces at a time. I'd do more like 8 ounces or 10 ounces. But, you know, you got to, you guys... I'm going to just say, I'm just going to do this right now. I'm going to give you, this is it. I'm holding up the magic pencil. You are all smart enough, intelligent, worthy, and powerful to understand what is, what you need to do. Okay, there you go. I'm doing a Pope's blessing here. You do. You are your own nutritional gurus and you will know what to do. You're not going to do dumb things like try to, you know, down 40 ounces of water at a time. I know you're not going to, but you're going to get in the habit of drinking water, right? You're going to get into the habit of doing your four minute exercises, right? You're going to get into the habit every single morning of being mindful about everything that goes into your, into your mouth, everything that goes into your glass, and everything that you're supposed to be doing in order to get your body moving in the right direction, right? Um, Jan said, I also think it would depend on activity levels and your, your weather. In Texas, it's hot. Yeah, but if you're sitting inside all day in air conditioning, you know, you're not going to be drinking whatever. But yes, I mean, you know, we, we, all, we all have these abilities to be able to d differentiate and figure out what for us is going to work and what is not. You know, if somebody said, well, what if I don't have stairs? Okay, then go walk outside around the building. Walk up and down your hall. Do whatever it is. But here's your thing. You need to make those decisions for you. I've got a nice plan here for you. And I promise you it will work. But adjust it accordingly. If you're a teeny tiny woman, you know, five feet tall and weigh 120 pounds or whatever, then my goodness, I certainly hope that you're going to adjust your water. If it's cold outside, if it's, you know, whatever, adjust, adjust. Look at me. I've got, I mean, I've got a, 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 a like a sweater on today. I'm freezing. <laughs> Just do it. Yes, you are knighted. You are knighted. I hereby knight you, you know, go get yourself some gold stars. If you have to go to the store, go get some gold stars. We are going to knock this out of the park. We're going to do what it takes to make it work exactly, Catherine. We're going to do it. No excuses. Not, I can't figure it out. We're not pitiful like that. We're powerful. So let's do this all the way. And I know, I know every single one of you, I know you've got this in you. I do. I do. That's why we're doing this together. So I've said enough. I've been on here for a long time. And I appreciate you showing up. All we have to do, ladies, all we have to do is show up, prepare, show up, and do.
got this. I'm glad I'm a great motivator. I'm glad you're here. Gold stars. <laughs> I will see you all at tea time in an hour. Bye, guys.